the importance of the immediate aftermath is that self-taken statements, as they were referred to and they've been popularly called recollections, were taken for internal purposes uh, by the South Yorkshire Police. And these uh, handwritten recollections um, were there primarily uh, to service the South Yorkshire Police's uh, attempt to put together its case. And it was a highly defensive case. That isn't our value judgment. That is clear from the actual process. Um, what we have, uh, have seen that when those, uh, that they were reviewed and altered, the argument that was put forward was that they would be reviewed and altered to remove conjecture and opinion. But what the correspondence demonstrates is that anything, quote, unhelpful to the forces case were, quote, altered, deleted, or qualified. And those officers, and there were a number who objected to this process, process are reported as being helped with that process. What comes out of this, then, is far from uh, the assumption made in Lord Justice Stuart Smith's scrutiny of evidence, uh, where it was considered that there were only a few uh, um, statements that were reviewed and altered that would have been of significance. We found that 116 out of 164 were amended to remove or alter comments that were directly unfavorable to the South Yorkshire Police. Let's go right to the, through the back, because that's things, yeah. So yes. It was, it, what, what we're saying, we will leave people to judge whether they consider it improper, but what we can see very clearly, it wasn't about conjecture. It was directly those comments that were unfavorable uh, to the police. And that I can come back in a second and uh, discuss that issue around uh, the, the, the Chief Constable comment. 